Hey everybody, this is Mike again. I um, got another little knife to show you. Um, this one was made by uh, ML Knives or uh, Matt Lisniewski. I, I'm butchering his name, but um, yeah, Matt L. Um, from ML Knives up there in uh, upstate New York. Um, he hand forges all of his stuff and, you know, hand puts all this stuff together. He also does some wrought iron work and a lot of leather work and stuff like that. Um, he made the knife for me as per a sketch that I did. Um, fairly detailed sketch of as far as what I wanted with the, uh, um, you know, the sizing and then the handle and everything. I did a whole nice little drawing. I mean, it was a full-on drawing and then it had specs on it. So he went off those specs, mashed it perfectly to a T, um, including custom making a wrought iron guard. Um, so let me show you the knife and then I'll tell you a few things about what it's got here. Um, I'll tell you about the sheath later. Um, but the... Uh, the knife here is a massive, massive beast. I mean, I got pretty decent sized hands. I'm a pretty decent sized dude. And this thing is a beast. Um, when I did my drawing, I was thinking, oh yeah, it's no big deal. I'll just, you know, I just want a beefy something. Um, you know, I want to do some quarter inch steel. I wanted to do some 1095, you know, I wanted to have some hammer marks in it and stuff like that. Nice forge marks, you know, and I want to have some of that uh, blackened oil kind of look to it, you know. And um, I want to add a hand hammered guard, you know, that he, that, you know, you do a little, um, pistol style grip kind of thing in here um, with the finger ring because um, you don't really find a good knife with a nice finger ring you know there are some decent ones out there especially customs and stuff like that where you pay thousands and whatever but you know for you know the man here who was who charged me I think he charged me like around like 650 or something to make this from scratch you know just off of a sketch um, you know he did a fucking fantastic job um, you know it's got elk, elk handle on that thing um, it goes, uh, it's a little rat tail tang, goes uh, about three quarters of the way down here. I had him put in uh, two steel pins on this thing too, because I want to make sure that thing doesn't come out. It's also got epoxy in there to hold that thing on. He did the wrought iron guard. Um, the guard he did a fantastic job on. I mean, even the little curl thing that I um, had in the sketch he had on there too. Um, and that was just because I thought it might be kind of a cool blade catcher, but really it's just a cool detail. Because I'm not planning on getting any knife fights with this. If it's going to be a knife fight, it's going to be like a pocket knife when I'm at 7-Eleven. So, um, if that ever happens, which is not. Um, so, anyways, uh, 1095, uh, high carbon steel. I mean, you can definitely tell it's been the sheath for a little bit. It's got a little bit of surface rust on it. I haven't oiled it in a bit. Um, but it's got a really good clip point, quarter inch of the 1095. And I had them keep the thickness, you know, pretty much to that tip there. So, I don't really care if it's a needle sharp tip. Um, with sizing like this, it doesn't really matter because this will go through the sheer force and the weight on then it'll go through whatever you want to. Hacking on this thing is fantastic, man. Um, you know, I sliced a couple branches, things like that, you know. You don't want to do any heavy duty, um, stuff yet with this thing because this is a custom piece. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to take this with me if I die, but, um, I've got a lot of other knives that I could beat the hell out of that are just production run whatever's you know But when you got some you know cool that was just a sketch and all of a sudden became a reality I don't really want to mess it up, you know, it's like if somebody custom designed a sports car, you know And you built it from hand built it from scratch you built a nice little custom You know you don't really want to try and take it off running beat the shit out of it because you understand the work that it took to make the thing so you know, you want to be a little more careful with it. But this one here, I definitely wouldn't be afraid of taking it out if I needed to. Um, you know, it's definitely a cool piece. I mean, if you're a mountain man type of dude, if you like that mountain man reenactment stuff, perfect, man. The frontier days, stuff like that. I mean, you're, this is your go-to right here, man. Um, you know, when they say grabbing some horn, that's, that's what you're talking about is this kind of thing. So, um, you know, yeah, ML Knives, man. He did a fantastic job. He does great little knives. Um, his nest books and stuff are really great. His cap hearts are fucking awesome. Um, his bowies are off the charts fantastic. So, um, yeah, I would look that guy up, man. If you, uh, if you ever want to get something done, he, I believe he's still making knives out there in upstate New York. So, um, the little sheath here, you know, I just made out of some, some thicker high leather at my shop. You know, I just, you know, put some snaps, some rivets, just sewed it real quick, you know, something simple. I'll make a more complex one later, you know, something a little more fancy with some, you know, tooling or some shit on it or whatever um because right now i've been getting a lot into that so um but this does the job and it's really nice because it is a lightweight sheath and it's still able to hold the blade really well so um you know taking this in camping a few times used it you know works great so i got no problems with this thing you know it's not a small detail knife like 
um, you know, like a Lagio would be, or a little pocket knife, or a Swiss Army, or a, you know, anything, you know. Um, this thing is a big monster piece. It's it's a little bit more difficult to do detail work with it. You could do it, it was a little more difficult, um, but this thing is meant to be massive and meant to be an all-purpose whatever, you know, jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing, um, except for maybe chopping, so. Uh, but yeah, but look him up. If um, M on the eyes, man, he did a fantastic job. All right, we'll see you guys later.